Well, it's been doing this for about a minute and a half, two minutes. I'm just sitting in my driveway and I, it happened while I'm running an OBD2, like I've got my OBD2 tester tier and this is what it's doing. And I'm just letting it do it to see if, I don't know, it'll go until it stops. Like the engine is running fine. Like there's nothing wrong with the engine. Put it in reverse and see what it does. Yeah, it's like the transmission's acting weird. Oh, there's the door locks just keyed. I don't know if you heard that. So that's something that I've actually heard. I've read on forums with the door locks kind of going on their own. And that was the first time I think I've heard that. Windows work okay. Okay, so now I'm back to park. And there it goes, it just keeps doing it. All right, so I'll tell you what I did, what, what happened. So something interesting did happen with this because I just put a new battery in and, and then I drove it around and it was fine. I didn't get any of this behavior. So then I came back and pulled in my driveway and then uh, I got out, I turned the key off, I put it in park, I turned the key off, the engine was off, and I popped my hood, and I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what I did. Well, actually, before, I'm going to describe what I did, because um, I'm actually going to go do it again and see if I can get this to go away. So, the where the, where the ECM sits, right behind the radiator, um... I took, I, I moved it out of its position um, so that I could look at the back of it so I could see the sticker on it uh, so that I could get the part number on it so that, because I'm, I'm going to, with this issue, I'm going to order a new ECM and see what it does. 
uh, ECM, PCM, um, engine control module, powertrain control module, whatever you want to call it. So now that I've moved that, I am now seeing this problem when I come back in and start the car to run my uh, run my check for for uh, trouble codes. So I'm actually going to pop the hood right now. I'm gonna put the brake on, but I'm going to pop the hood. See, it's still jumping around. So the RPM, like the engine's running. See that? So it's like the engine's running and when I gas it, it reacts. The needles react when I gas it. It's really interesting. I mean, the engine is running fine. That's what's weird about this whole thing. But but this what turning off the service. Um, The uh, Stabila track is going to make the transmission shift funny. All right, so now I'm actually going to go play with these connections just like I did before. We're going to see what happens. Ah, oh, the problem went away. You see that? You see that? Look, my gauges work. It's a problem with the connector. It's a problem with the connector. So my check engine light is on because obviously a trouble code was triggered. God. Yeah, I think it's just a connection. It's a connection problem right there at the ECU. You see, all I did was I just kind of like pulled those in I think we just found the smoking gun, folks. I think we just found the smoking gun. Yeah, look, everything works. Gas gauges back up, RPMs are up. My gauges are good. There's something wrong with one of those plugs. It's loose or something. I am super stoked that I I'm super stoked that it happened this way because I'm going to post this video on YouTube and then I'll, uh, I'll basically go and put this on the Traverse forum so that you guys can see what just happened. So if you ever see this exact issue, that's what it is. So I'm going to go, I'm going to run, uh, so I'm going to run a scan. I'm going to do an all module scan. I'm going to do another one. So now I'm going to have, I'm going to have a, probably a bunch of trouble codes. So what's interesting is when this first started happening, I started yank, I was yanking around. Oh, there it goes again. Look, there it goes. See, it started doing it and okay. So there's kind of another common denominator is it started going out of whack when I started, when I was running this to, with this code before. So it starts doing this, it starts behaving like this when I, when I start a, a module scan. That's really interesting. Cause look, now I got the same problem again. Okay, I'm at 88%. It's gonna tell me that lost communication with TCM, lost communication with BCM. Yeah, look, geez, look at that. This is the most this is the most trouble codes that I've seen. So cruise control, I've actually seen that one before. Transmission control module requested malfunction indicator light. So basically turn on the transmissions requested, turn on the check engine light. 
transmission control module, speed request signal message, counter incorrect, whatever that is. Transmission torque reset, signal message, counter incorrect. Lost communication with TCM. I'm telling you, man, this is like lost communication with brake control module. Lost communication with body control module. So it's some kind of connection thing. So let's go back. Let's look at. Okay, so the the, the the TCM lost communication with the ECM. Lost communication. So basically, it is, what's going on is there is some kind of, yeah, and these are all, see, this one's new. Now I got three. Okay, so body control model, electronic brake control module, engine control module. So it's like losing power. All right, let's do another experiment in this in this video. Okay, so you can see things are still whacked out, right? I still have my, uh, my code reader plugged into the OBD2 port. But you can see, look at, my engine is running right now. I, just, I show no temperature, I show no RPMs. I show, I show no gas gauge. In fact, I'm actually, I'm gonna set up my phone right here on my steering wheel, and I'm gonna see if I can just let you watch what happens. Come on. All right, well, I'm just gonna go up there. I'm gonna pull up on those wires just like I did before. We're gonna see if we can get that problem to go away. So I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is just pull up on all of these, see if I can make a good connection. let go that's all I did before and look at that and look at that folks look at that all of my gauges are back to oh why is that blurry all of my gauges are back to normal and they're working okay so I've got all of these trouble codes Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, see, I just cleared the codes. That's why the check engine uh, light went off. Okay, erase, yep. We're gonna clear them all. My phone went all blurry. Okay, check engine light off. I hope I edit out most of this, but it's, I kind of just want to want to you know show you how I walk through this process and what happens when I do what. System status, blah blah blah. Yeah, HVAC module. Whatever. All right. Anti-theft, that one's always got four because my car doesn't have those features. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. So I think I've got one of these connection problems and uh, well, that's where I'm gonna go look when uh, I've got sunlight.